Hey, friends, so if you take a look back at all 45 presidents, you'll find that they have one thing in common. They all had problems with the media. They all complained about their press coverage, but none of them hated, yes, hated the media like Donald Trump. I mean, for him, it's a passion. If he reads any story that's not a positive story about all how great he is, he thinks that that reporter must be uh, on the Democratic Party's payroll and must have his own political agenda. Uh, not only that, that reporter might even be anti-American. Yes, indeed, Donald Trump has not only called the media very, very dishonest, he has actually called us the enemy of the American people. Yes, the enemy. Think about it. The enemies of the American people are al-Qaeda, ISIS, radical Islamic terrorists, and, of course, the media, which is, of course, total, total nonsense. Now, you could just laugh that off as the rantings of a maniacal clown, but calling the media the enemy is really dangerous for a couple of reasons. One, because it undermines public confidence in one of our most basic and revered institutions, a free and independent press. And second, because it encourages other world leaders, particularly dictators around the world, like in Turkey and China and Saudi Arabia, to continue, and Russia, to continue their suppression of the media on the theory that if it's okay for the United States, it's okay for them too. And in the middle of all of this, though, there's one ray of hope that except for his diehard supporters, Donald Trump's war on the media is not selling. The latest Quinnipiac poll showed that Americans by 52 to 37 say they trust the media more than Donald Trump to tell the truth about important issues. In other words, the media may not always get it right, but they don't tell outright lies like Donald Trump. This is the Bill Press Show.